The Higgs boson is the last missing cornerstone of the so-called standard model, which describes the microcosm and the visible universe. And the Higgs boson should be responsible for giving mass to elementary particles. Now, this year, the Large Hadron Collider has worked extremely well and has given the experiments a lot of statistics which allows them now to squeeze in, to close the window for the allowed mass range of this standard model Higgs boson. That's number one. Now number two is that within this still allowed mass region there are some intriguing fluctuations. However, we still need the data of the year 2012 to make a definite answer on the Shakespeare question of the Higgs boson. To be or not to be. We have exciting times this year and next year. Good afternoon everybody. We are here today to hear the latest uh, results on the search for the Higgs boson from the two big experiments from ATLAS and from CMS. The seminar is arranged like this, that we start first with the ATLAS presentation by Fabiola Gianotti and then by the CMS and then we continue with the CMS presentation by Guido Tonelli. Questions will only be at the end of both presentations. That makes much more sense. Um, I will guide you through the questions, but before we start now, I think it's now the time to say why we can be here, namely because there was a fantastic performance, not only of the experiments, but also of the LHC and the whole accelerator complex. So I think the, all the people who are involved and who, are, who have been involved and are involved in running this thing, building this thing, running this thing, having such a big success, I think they deserve a big round of applause. Please. I was checking just now. Let me see. Wow, we have trucks. Well, it looks nice. The truck is One of the things we wanted to improve is the fact that we wanted to make sure that we are only looking at the signal. 